In this video, we're going to tie a little fly called the dry emerger. First thing we're going to do is start with some Vivas 14 knot olive thread and a TMCO 100 hook. I'm going to tie it in and lay down a nice smooth thread base, but I'm going to leave the tag end of the thread hanging off the back there. This will be for our tail. And for our tail, I'm going to take a couple of little mayfly tails, also known as micro fibets, and I'm going to use a, a dun color. We're going to tie these in so that they're the length of the shank of the hook. We're going to tie them in right on top of the shank. Then I'm going to just kind of prop them up, and I'm going to take that thread and I'm going to slide it right in between them. And I can pull on that piece of thread and that'll help aid in splitting those tails. And then you can just continue with your thread just to make everything nice and smooth. And we're going to go back down the shank of the hook here. Sometimes my near side tail doesn't split as much as I want, so I can just slide my thread in between them and kind of pull it where I want it to go. That'll help keep them perfectly split. Now the next thing we're going to do is dub the body. For this I'm going to use some blue winged olive colored super fine dubbing. And you want to dub this fly very, very sparse to begin here. We're just going to put on a little bit of dubbing, just kind of enough to coat the coat the thread to begin with. You can use a little bit of dubbing wax to help get a nice tight body on this. This body is not supposed to be shaggy at all. We're supposed to dub it nice and tight. Then you can just use your dubbing to kind of build a little bit of a taper as you work your way forward on the fly. You can see this blue and olive dubbing is a fairly dark olive. That's the look we're going for. I like to apply my dubbing just kind of a little bit at a time and slowly build up the taper that I'm looking for rather than kind of adding it all at once. I like to do it nice and smooth. And we'll add just a tiny bit more. We're only going to dub about two thirds of the shank of the hook at this point. I don't want to go all the way forward. I want to go just a little more than half. It's about two thirds. There we go. Then I'll stop. Now we're ready to tie in our wing. For this, I'm going to use some CDC. I'm going to take a whole feather here, and I'm just going to slide the material up so I get a nice even tip. I'm going to take two to three of these, depending on the size that I'm tying. And I'll lay them right up against each other. I'll get a nice even tip. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to take this feather, I'm going to measure it out on the shank of the hook here so that it's about the length of the shank of the hook. I'm going to take it and just tie it in. Nice tight thread wraps. I might have tied in just a little long. Trim those butt ends out of the way. Next we're ready to dub the thorax. Now the thorax is a completely different color. It's going to be a lighter olive. Just a light olive super fine dubbing. Has a kind of a little bit more green into it. I'm 
We're going to dub a fairly round thorax here. You can see I left a little bit of room up by the eye. Then we're going to take that CDC and we're just going to pull it all together and lay down a tight wrap. To hold it all down. And if you get a few of these little frayed ends you can either trim them out there or you can leave them. Either way. I'm going to fold the wing back again and I'm going to lay down some nice thread wraps in front and I'll kind of wedge it and force it back at this point. And I'll tie up onto it. That'll force those fibers back. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take a partridge feather. I like to use the number one grade because you get perfect little tips on the partridge feather and that's what we're looking for. I'm going to stroke the majority of the fibers back just exposing the tip. We're just going to take these fibers and depending on the size will depend on how many you use. I'm tying a size 16 here, so I'm going to use a fairly decent number of the feathers here. I'm just going to lay that right on my wing. Take a nice tight wrap with my thread. And you can get in there as close as you can trim those out of there. Last thing to do is just clean up the head of the fly. And then we can whip finish. Then you can take your fingers here and just kind of spread spread your wing down to the sides. This fly is meant to kind of have a half half moon shape. Straighten out your tails. You can see how my wing stands up. You get that nice little profile. I'll show you what I mean by the half moon shape. You can see there how it kind of goes down to each side of the fly. Just sits in the surface film. Imitates a little crippled betis or blue winged olive. It's not quite a nymph, it's not quite a dry fly, it just sits right in the film. And that is the dry emerger.